Oh, praise the honor and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rakhak, Kadash. To monitors, to the elders and apostles that great millstone who rule well, and salutation and blessings to the hopeful Bakiar. I wanted to pull these precepts that go into how our help and all strength cometh from on high, from Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, the heavenly Father. Okay, and not of man, and not of ourselves. All right, when you go into the elect, that election, okay, which is being called and chosen, all right, was strictly from the Most High's master plan, okay, his blueprints from the foundation of the earth, those in which he sealed, okay, and not of, of, of us, okay. And this is to further accentu accentuate that fact, all right, that all strength comes from the Most High, all right. Like it says, he could have raised up um, rocks to prophesy and to do his work, all right, and that we are ultimately subjected to his will, and that's what we should be striving to be in alignment with, all right? And we're going to get that, what that's going to translate into, all right? And that's why we say most high willing we're part of this number, but it starts with the calling, all right? And that, even that is of the most high, all right? Not, it's not a coincidence. It's all through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bashim Shai, that our captain, captain of the camp um, the Inglewood little sanctuary all right put out this uh, a precept and went into the same concept to this uh, to this that I had that was dwelling heavy on my spirit to go into that I had precepts pulled and lo and behold the Alabashim was shy had uh, our captain who at Salakia, if I have the ranking wrong, the brother probably a major by now, all right, but um, but had the brother uh, meditating on himself, okay, but which was really the spirit, the Rakakadash, all right, to go into how our our uh, sufficiency comes from Yahal Bashim Yahushaima. All right, Lord willing, we'll get that as well. I have that pulled. I'm going to start off here in Psalm 39, verse 4. Make me know mine end and the measure of my days, what it is that I may know how frail I am. Okay? So, when understanding the creator all right this the entity that was there in the void and let me, let me get that first this that that entity that was there preceding all creation all right should put um instantaneous fear in your heart all right and uh, allegiance to this power. All right, Salakia, where is this at? Uh, this word void. All right. Where is that at? Salakia. It says, uh, man, there it is. It's down here in... The Strong's definition of vacuity, superficially, all right, an undistinguishable ruin, okay? So you can't distinguish anything from, from another because pretty much there was nothing there. It was an emptiness, <laughs> an undistinguishable ruin. You can imagine when you look at some of these images out in space when there's like a vacuum like 
a fucking uh, a black black nothingness out there. It's there's a there's an eeriness to it. All right. It 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 kind of um, is indicative of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's power. All right. This this entity who is out there, right, for the most part, in that emptiness of space, that vacuity, all right, which really goes inside like a vacuum. This power, man, all right, <laughs> knowing that we're mere creation in, in this man's uh, movie that he set up, his real life um, experiment, all right, like when the, um, you know, what fucking Esau tries to pretty much mimic to control fucking uh, man. All right, the Most High is on an unfathomable level. Like he says, his thoughts are not are are above our thoughts. Okay, you're not on par with this entity to even imagine what what he's done in the orchestration. And uh, like it says, the Most High ruling in the kingdom of men and him pulling the strings, all right, of his, of his, uh, it's pretty much his, um, his vessels, his vessels down here, man. Okay. But let's get this uh, in Psalm 39, Salakia. And four, that word frail. Okay. Because we're frail because we're, um, we can, we have the power to do nothing. Okay. It's all the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. See, with our own strength. You can you can accomplish fucking absolutely nothing, but really your own ruin, if it's not in alignment with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, okay. Or if it's not in His plans, okay, for you for you to avail, all right. And ultimately, it's only set up for the elect, okay. He uses. A different uh, his vessels of uh, his different um, of primarily Israel and then of the different nations right to pretty much carry out his purpose all right carry out his objectives okay like the other nations being a whipping stick into Israel these different captivities that we've uh, been subject to. Okay. Is uh, Esau being the sword, the hammer of the earth, the, and that take peace from the earth. And it even tells you the most high given time and chance to every man. Okay. And it tells you the, triumph uh, the triumphing of the wicked is short. And ultimately he's going to his ultimate plans is to to set up Israel in an eternal kingdom, all right. And regardless if we be a part of that number, Lord willing, we are of the first fruits, okay. But like brothers, to maintain that that the humility that um, through through that humility that is such a precious trait to to um to continue to to uh to strive for okay and you never fucking you're never at a uh, full capacity of humility man we can always continually to continue continually humble down man okay basically do that humility brothers have maintained that even if for for some chance do the most high's will that we were not a part of this uh we were not chosen that the most high's will be done okay <laughs> it's a heavy thing and um even though we still have the confidence and the faith 
that we are a part of that number. Okay? But just understanding, according to the Most High's master plan, what he has in store. All right? And that ultimately the entire world is going to rejoice at this, at this, uh, Yapa Kainos that he's about to establish, man. All right? And that, like it says, man, we fucking f f being frail, all right, can just simply uh, give the most high heavy thanksgiving for what he's uh, opened up our minds into, man, and brought us into. This word frail goes into uh, rejected, forbearing, transient, <laughs> fleeting lacking all right shit it says uh vacant all right ceasing or destitute he that forbeareth frail rejected okay so we're a hey, we're fucking to be vacant is likened unto you being have having nobody there that was also a term to be mentally vacant is like nobody's home. And that's what it's like until you, until the most high. All right. And what we are anyway, when you look at how, uh, how easy we can get taken out. All right. And of course, mostly by the most high, how badly he jacks up his creation. Okay. Us being subjected to this power. What does it say? Lacking? All right. And this is the whole... Man, see, these whole scriptures link up. That's why we're to ma remain uh, lowly. All right, lowliness in mind, humble, which goes into the etymology, humus, which means ground, all right? Depressed in mind, which just means to be pressed to down because our egos in these, in these nasty, in this nasty fucking chains of darkness flesh, our egos and so-called ego and pride tends to fucking constantly be inflated all right so we have to fucking deflate ourselves in the mind and that's where people are fucking puffed up of um in that spirit of of uh, haughtiness and pride man not realizing how frail you are <laughs> you're lacking motherfucker you're liking it a, a transient is a damn bum a motherfucker who uh believes goes from place to place because tra uh, transi trans right it's transient is lasting wow lasting only for a short time impermanent okay you're a fleeting you're a fleeting creature okay if it not be for the most high because um, through him, our supernatural feats achieved. Okay. And like it says, we're going to go into... Or, or, um, we don't have it pulled, but I, I had it in the, in the, in the clip to, to quote it. That he that doeth the will of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, abideth forever. But um, if, uh, if it wasn't for that, then we'd remain transient. Which is fleeting, huh? All right. Let's get that in the etymology. See if it has another scope. Yeah, trans is across. Air is to go. Or going across. Okay. Wow. Which exactly what that goes into how our life is about a hand breadth. Okay. And that fleeting, that all that, that goes into vanity of a vacancy, which is basically nothingness. All right. That's how fucking, that's how much we are, really. 
to the Most High, unless we be, um, like he said, glorified by him. And them that are abased, he's going to exalt. Who, what's to say of them that are exalted by that Yahweh Bashim Shai? And that's why that brother put that fire lesson together that we're not, um, we ain't, um, we're not, uh, we ain't shit. Okay, right? Uh, if I'm not wording that correctly, but um, we are not nothing. Okay. <laughs> if uh, we be a part of that number, Lord will, man. Lord will. But the elect won't. I'll tell you that. Okay. Once again, Lord willing, we're a part of that number, man. You see? Let's get that. Uh, go in, in verse 5. Behold, thou hast made my days as a handbreadth. And my age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. All right. So, uh, if it only be for you, how about me? I was shy. Okay. Let me get this root word, the spirit, and see if it has any further scope. Wow. To stop, cease to cease, to forego, to cease to be. Man. To leave off, to come to an end. Okay. Wow. When he said vacant, it means to be unoccupied. Because <laughs> the Most High is the one who who um, occupied your spirit, your, your vessel with a spirit, man. Okay. To desist. Man. To be flabby, going into frail to be flabby, and that's the spirit because there's a motherfucker at um, one of these the gig sites I have to roll up to who fucking one of the uh, the technicians in there walked by one of the parts that was staged, it was propped up. Okay, it was ascended, and he walked by. It was around, it was like arm level. And the motherfucker walked by just with a regular, you know, T-shirt on. And this, this part, this aluminum uh, uh, part, right? Sharp as fuck, of course. Sliced through his arm like butter, okay? Sliced through his fucking forearm like butter. And he walked across that shit, Okay? To show you, and then um, one of the other motherfuckers was was telling me the story about what happened to the nigga, and he said he's like it shows you how he had a he mentioned a a quote a comment he said it shows you how fucking fragile that we are, okay. You see, ultimately that showing you hey, we're gonna get that too. We're fucking where was man. The Ahab Bashim Yahushai. Okay. Let's see this real quick. A handbreadth. A handbreadth. Not span of the fingers. Man. Spread of the hand. So, a tiny, a tiny measurement, basically. All right. And that's real. It says, uh, and everything down here is fucking vanity anyway, right? Without, without Yahweh Bashim Shai. If it weren't for Yahweh Bashim Shai, everything else is fucking nothing, man. It says, unsatisfactory, oh, emptiness, all right? A vapor, Let's see? This is in Second Corinthians three and five. This is the postscript the spirit put on the brothers. It said, uh, "Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of 
the most high, okay? We're insufficient. It just said you're, we're lacking. Hey, we're, we're transient. We're fleeting. We're fucking frail. Said to be flabby. <laughs> All right. We're, but our source and sufficiency, our help coming from on high, man, from Yahweh, from from the Most High. All right. Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not, thou worm. Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith it. Yahweh Bashemi Shai and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Okay? So we were even referred to as a worm. Which was broken down fire as a, a defenseless insect. One of the most of the most highest creations. Is it 41 or 14? Is one of the most defenseless of the most highest creation. By worm. All right. Scarlet stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, worm. Let's get into the, the analogy of the worm. Because, of course, it's not literal. They're not cocus uh, elsis. But look at that, man. A grub. See, maggots. Yeah, that's a literal. But that's heavy. That's heavy. Uh, I'll show you how scholarly these the, the scripture is. This understanding of these scriptures is. All right. Let's see. The worm, the worm, the worm, the worm. Slovakia. Let's get it to the Strongs. Okay. Hmm. Salakia. <clears throat> Let's pull this in the NLT. But we already know this breakdown. This is a, a plane as a worm, a defenseless insect, man. This thing doesn't even fucking uh, have legs, I don't believe. Does a worm have legs or does it fucking crawl around on its belly? <laughs> All right. They do those hoses short. They have no arms, legs, or eyes. Okay. Slovakia. Get the NLT. Wow. Okay, there you go. Salakia. Salakia for that for that uh delay. This is in the NLT. Though you are a lowly worm, O Jacob, don't be afraid, people of Israel, for I will help you. I am Yahweh Bashim, I your Redeemer, I am the Holy One of Israel. Okay, so the Most High is the one that provides the redemption, man. Okay. Like it says, the, 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 uh, the potter, all right, the, or the one who's in orchestration, not only... Of, of of all the events that have taken place in the history of mankind, all right. But it said of even even the thoughts and the preparations of our mind, man. All right. It said further up in Psalm thirty nine. It said he's acquainted with our with all of the ways of his creation, man. 
because you couldn't wrap your mind around that. That's why it would behoove you to get in line with your power, man. All right? With your maker. Like it says in this time that we have these doors of mercy. All right? To get right with the Halabashim Yalashai. And that's a moment-to-moment process. That's a, that's a fucking, uh, not only a daily, that is a, a constant decision that has to be made in everything that we do, every maneuver that you fucking make, okay? Bringing everything into subjection, into captivity, on the Yal Bashim Yal Shai, man. All right? And it just showed you what the, uh, the breakdown for the worm is and the lowly, you're a lowly worm. This thing that fucking, that has to hide in the in the dirt. Okay. Finishing off in John 5 and 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of Yahal Bashim Yahushai with his witch hath sent me, okay, and this is in alignment with the uh, uh, the elect, all right, just as all these figures in the scriptures are, are depictive of the entire elect, well, it talks about how it's, they're one house, all right, this is one body, This is one um, priesthood. This is one army. All right. One unit, man. uh, A unit that moves is one. All right. As the Yahawashai is depicted of the elect. All right. I mean, so, so many. All right. Um, When you look at. Figures like Moses, Joseph, okay, and and many more, all right. And like it says, that he that doeth the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai abideth forever, all right. Because that's the one where who who fucking grants mercy, man. He's the one who, yeah, um, okay, grants any type of allowance for his creation, man. All right? It says, shouldn't we much rather be um, in subjection to the Father of Spirits? Okay. And that's the one thing that the elect, the, like, uh, uh, the apostle did a video recently. That's the one thing that the elect is going to grasp, all right, to the highest level on this side. Is the, because that's all, also, all is all in alignment with the fear of Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay? It's all encompassing. I see. So, with that, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akkadash.